guys welcome back so our frog jacket is cooked it's cool down it's just a little bit warm just a tiny bit warm um but we're going to let cool down completely nice and cool down but we're going to prepare our chocolates and wait for it to cool down to go over and go in the chocolate once the water is not chocolate you choke it away so i need my tablecloth on top to keep that heating so it can melt faster so i leave that on like that make sure i don't have the kids so close so they may knock it over and burn themselves you don't want that do it out of way. I like to do it with Jake, my little boy. But when it gets to this process, I'll put it away. But I like him to put the chocolate on a frap jack. So we let our frap jack cool down. See the color, guys? So very nice color. And um, our chocolate melts as well. Then we'll come back. And work that chocolate right on top and we we'll let we we'll put that in the fridge to cool down for like half an hour maybe it should be all right then we'll take it up and chop 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 we we'll chop it and we'll have a cup of tea i wish you were here but i know you're going to make some but when you make some please comment down give the video a like subscribe and guys, let's grow together. Let's share together. So, I hope you're going to make some frog jack if in a few days, guys. Okay. So, I'll let it cool down and that melts in there nice and slow. You can put this in the microwave, but I like it to melt slowly, not just in the microwave it just sometimes it can burn and you end up losing the chocolate but if you don't have more chocolate in the cupboard then you're in trouble so i recommend melting uh, but you can use the microwave if you want it but i recommend melting the water then i'll come back and work it on okay guys all right guys welcome back so we're going to Check and see if our chocolate is ready to be applied on our frapture. Okay, guys. Ta da! 
There we go. Put this on, put this one on. And you take it out there. Put the cross on the bottom because it's in water. So our chocolate. You see that guys? It melts nice and natural. Instead, like I say, you can put it in the microwave, but I think it melts lovely when you put when you melt it in hot water in a bowl and put the tea towel on top, track that heat in, and it just melts nicely. So, see now, our chocolate is all ready to be applied on our prop jack. That there. So, we have all slapped on. Slag it on. Like a bit of chocolate. So, I put four bars in this bowl and it will all end up on here. Slag it on. From this here to work it on all over. Whatever is left, you make a little bit. I'll keep it for my boy when he comes back from school. He'll be scooping the bowl because once he knows I've been making flop jacks and I haven't left for him some chocolates on a plate, we won't have problems. So, made enough. So, work it on all over all the corners because you want that nice deep chocolate on lovely bite when you get a piece of this flop jack so now guys all covered so four bars was just a good number. You can go ahead, do a bit of design you want. Like so that's all our chocolate on, guys. You see that? So I'm going to go ahead, put this in the fridge for half an hour. Then it will be nice and hard. You can leave it out to cool down itself. But I'll put it in the fridge. Then it's faster. Because I really want a piece of this flap jack. I'm going to stick it in the fridge. And I will show you when it's all done. I'll cut it up and show you. Hi guys, welcome back. Our chocolate is all dry on our flap jack. And we're going to slice our Flap jack now. Okay, guys, all nice and hard. It's been in the fridge for 45 minutes and it's nice and hard. So, let us slice it. One, two, three, four, five, five rows. Yeah. Yeah. And four. Four, five, four, four by five. Right, so it's right on from there. Let's see how it. What I do, I try to press the knife. On top, press the knife, the end knife, this one on top, so it's not all squashed together. So, Right? And like when all squashes 
and two pieces. So press down the bottom, top it like like that. Keep pressing there. And next row. I like them big chunk ones, guys. There we go. And the last one. Let's just leave that on there like that, maybe. There we go. So flap jacks all sliced. So what I'm going to do, I want to get them like that. Can you see guys our flap jack? Ooh, look at that. My little boy just came sweet. Just wait there, Jack to me. Uh, so you can see this guys. Like I said before, I like them deep when you get it. It's nice with a cup of coffee. See this, guys? So I do, I'll put them like that. I put them, them guys, so if I give two to my neighbors, each one of my neighbors have two tall pieces that now in a big, nice slice. See that, guys? And your fracture is nice and done. Not so hard, not so soft, just nice moisture. So what I'll do, I'll just take all out and put in my bowl. It will just come nicely and it'll be lovely. Okay guys. Absolutely. I like them when they are cold and nice room temperature. They are so good. So that's all guys for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe for my video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I like sharing what I do. I'm not a chef, but I just do a few things for myself. And uh, whenever I cook something, I share with you guys. And when you stop by and watch my video, it means the whole world. So thank you so much again to all my subscribers. Thank you for watching. Thank you everyone that stopped by and watched my videos. It means a lot. And again, I'll see you in my another video then. Stay positive and be brave. Have a good night. Comment down as well to let me know if you're going to make them frap jack. That's on this now. Um, let me know if you're going to make your frap jack. As you can see, check it nice thick tone. Nice and dry, which ingredients do you, you add in your frap jar? And let me know, guys. See the end bit nice and brown. So let me know how you make your frap jar and if you're going to make some with chocolate or the plain ones. Which one do you like? Do you like chocolate one or do you like the plain ones? Thank you, guys. Stay safe and keep positive all the time. Thank you. So this is our frap jack done guys. There's nice chocolate on top as you can see. So tell me if you, um let me know if in the comments if you've been making a frap jack guys if you wanna try and make some if you like frap jack which one do you like the plain one or with the one with the chocolate on? As I said before I made roads. I wish you near here you could have a piece with your cup of tea. And um, comment down, guys. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video if you think there's somebody who will be wanting to make some frap jacks with chocolate on or with the plain ones. Let me know in a comment, guys. So, I'll let you go and stay blessed, guys. I'll see you in my another video. Thank you, guys. Be blessed, you all.